to another lesson and today we're talking about the market cycle. So let's get into it. So the market cycle consists of four important components, which is consolidation, expansion, retracement, and reversal. So these are all the things that you need to take into consideration for the perfect trade setup. So consolidation is when price is building up for a big move. This is when the price is not going up or down. It's making equal highs and equal lows, and it's preparing for a big move. Expansion. Expansion is when the price pulls away from the consolidation and it creates your order block, a place that you're going to be buying or selling selling from. Then the retracement. So from that expansion, the price is going to retrace and fill in any imbalance back up to your order block where it expanded. And then finally, the reversal. Once price is retracing back up to your order block area, price is going to be creating liquidity up to that area. And then as it hits your order block, price will reverse into a reversal and take out any liquidity that it created on the way up. So those are the four main components of a trade setup. So here we have up here is our consolidation. So we can see price is making equal highs and equal lows. Price then breaks out of that consolidation, which we call expansion, which leaves imbalance. So once price expands out of the consolidation, it will leave an area where we can execute a trade from, which would be our order block zone, which is up here. Then after the expansion, we have the retracement. So price will then retrace back into the price range where it consolidated and where it left an order block or zone. This is the area we would target to execute a position from. So when price is retracing back up, it retraces back to fill in the imbalance where it expanded out of. So the final part of the trade setup is the reversal. So we have our consolidation, we have our expansion, which creates imbalance, we have our retracement, which fills in the imbalance back up to our order block. And then we have the reversal. As the retracement is happening, it should create liquidity for the reversal to take out. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. So let's just quickly go through that again so we definitely understand it. So we have consolidation. This is where price consolidates, creating equal highs and equal lows, building up for a big move. Then we have expansion. Once price expands out of the consolidation area with high selling or buying pressure, this will leave imbalance and an order block or zone for us to take a position from. Then we have the retracement. Price will then pull back into our order block zone, filling in the imbalance it created on the expansion. This confirms our order block zone because there will be imbalance before that zone. And then finally, the reversal. As price retraces back to our order block, liquidity would have been created to take out. Reversals seek liquidity. So I hope that makes sense. We're just going to jump in and we're just going to jump onto the charts right now just to go through it again and make sure we understand it. And as we can see here, our first stage of um, the trade setup is consolidation. So we have consolidation right here. It's the first thing we look for. Okay, next is expansion. So we can see right here, prices broke out of that consolidation, creating massive imbalance right here. So this is our expansion. And then also off that, we have our buy to sell candles, so that's our order block. So this is the area that we're going to be targeting to take a trade from. And we can see we have imbalance right here to fill in. So there's the first two stages of our trade setup. We have the consolidation, then we have our expansion. Now what does price need to do? Price needs to retrace back up to that area, filling in this imbalance while also creating liquidity as it moves up. Also, liquidity works both ways. So, we, price is now we know we know price seeks to take out liquidity. So here we have liquidity to take out here. So this confirms that price will be pushing up, take out that liquidity, and then fill in our imbalance just before our order block. So we have, we have um, liquidity to take out there.
So we have, oh, let's just play that again. So we have liquidity to take out here. So price has now taken out these two levels of liquidity. It's now approaching our order block to fill in this imbalance. So price has now mitigated that level. And now, so here we have our retracement. So the last section, the last um, component of the trade setup is a reversal and reversals seek liquidity. So we have our consolidation, we have our expansion, we have our retracement. Now, have we got, we've got, have we got um, liquidity to take out? It's filled, in our, it's filled in our imbalance at our order block. And yes, look, we have big trend line liquidity right here to take out. And what else have we got here? Imbalance. So we have imbalance here and big liquidity to take out here. And there it goes, just about to take out our liquidity. That is an area which I would target as well, which I forgot to put on. So our entry would have been there. And so that's where that's where the high would have been, but I would have targeted five five to eight pips above that. So we would have been still in. And then I would have targeted just below this liquidity. One to ten trade. And there we go. Final part of the trade setup was reversal. So let's just go through that one more time so we definitely understand it, the four components of a trade setup. So we had our consolidation here. We then had our expansion, which left imbalance and it provided us with an order block uh, for us to target um, where we'd be taking a position from. Price then moved down, created liquidity here, moved down some more, and then created liquidity here. So this confirmed that price would be um, pushing back up to that level because it had this liquidity to take out and it had this imbalance to fill in. So as it moved up, it then created liquidity here. So we knew um, that when price come up to our level and to confirm the trade even more, we knew that there was imbalance coming down and liquidity to take out here, which then which then left us with the last component of our trade setup was a reversal. So we had our consolidation, our expansion, our retracement, then our reversal. So that is the four components of your trade setup and how you should be getting into your trades. This is everything that you need to do to um, tick off your checklist before getting into a trade. And that is the that is the trade, that is the four components of the trade setup. So really hope that helped guys. And if you have any questions or you need to, you need any help with anything, just message me in the Discord and I'll be happy to help. Um, so thanks very much and I'll see you in the next lesson.